just wanna be the greatest yeah. And I just wanna be famous Hello everybody, this is Bram here And today, I have another command block tutorial for you And what I'm gonna be showing you is how to kick play AFK players automatically Really simple system, it's really effective And yeah, guys, before I start this video, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I, I upload a video. And yeah, guys, let's get started on this tutorial. Okay, so the way this works is whenever he's standing on top of a barrier at the y equals 3 uh, coordinate, then it's going to add one thing to him, like with me, and then whenever I walk over bedrock, it's going to get rid of it. So, yeah, it's pretty simple, and what it's doing is whenever you walk around, it's going to clone that underneath your feet. So whenever I'm walking around, it's just going to clone it where I step. And it's gonna do that, and I don't want to make a mess over my world, so... Yeah. Anyways, so whenever he gets to the amount of time kicked, which is five seconds from now, so I have it set at ten minutes. So, yeah, and it kicks him. It Literally, he's gone. He's yeeted out of the game. So, yeah, the first thing you're gonna want to do when making this is you're gonna build this square with bedrock and barriers on y equals four, or whatever, a different y than what you're doing with that. So that way it's pretty simple and easy, you know. And then I, I'm pretty sure you know how to do that. So then you're gonna wanna do execute, or repeat, unconditional, always active. Make sure it's always active, but I'm having need resume right now. 40 ticks, so that way it only clones every two seconds. And what you're gonna do is execute at A, tilde, 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 clone, and then these chords and these chords. So basically how to get those chords. The first one is you're going to walk negative this way. So when it goes, the X goes negative, you stop. And then you go this way. And if the Z goes negative, you know this is your corner that you want. Um, so then that's the first coordinate right there. And then this is the opposite, which is going to be going in positive direction when you walk in that direction. That goes there. And then you're going to go tilde, negative 1, 3 tilde negative one. So basically what it's doing is it's push so you're originally being cloned right here and then it's gonna push it over here so that way it's getting this cloned right at your feet. And then the three right here is pretty much putting it in the ground. If that's confusing just set it up like this and you'll see how it works. It's pretty simple. And then the next thing you're gonna want to do, I think I need to add the scoreboard. Yes, you're gonna want to do uh, or board if I can spell objectives add time AFK you're gonna want to do that and then dummy and then let it didn't then click enter so yeah and then what you're gonna want to do is repeat unconditional always active 20 ticks and then it's gonna be execute at a tilde 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 detect tilde three tilde and then barrier zero scoreboard players add at s time afk one. So basically, what it's doing is it's whenever it detects a barrier at y equals three under your feet, um, wherever you're at, um, it's gonna add a scoreboard of one, and then it's gonna be repeat unconditional always active twenty ticks. So the twenty ticks is every second it's you're above the barrier, it's gonna give you a scoreboard of one on the afk. Simple. You just need to copy that one how it is. And then the next one is repeat unconditional always active zero ticks. And it's going to be execute at a tilde 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 detect tilde three tilde bedrock zero scoreboards players set at s time afk zero. So basically what it's doing is whenever you're over bedrock it resets it. So basically you're standing here you're afk and then you move you're not afk anymore. Simple. And then repeat unconditional zero ticks. Always active. And then this next one starts the chain of getting the item to you and being kicked. So yeah. The way you're going to do this is repeat unconditional always active zero ticks. And then it's test for at a scores equals um, shift bracket time afk equals 600 dot dot 700 shift bracket bracket. And then what you're going to want to do is this is set for 10 minutes and I put 100 onto it just for security purposes to make sure it works. So, and you can set this to 300, which is five minutes. You can set that you just figure out the amount of seconds it takes for it to happen for each minute. Then you set that there. Really simple. And then, yeah, that's how you change it. And then 
The next thing you're going to want to do is chain or er, chain conditional always active. And then it's going to be clone tilde tilde one tilde 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 one tilde. And then these can be the coordinates of this block right here. So you can use the tildes if you want to. I'm using the tildes right now. Or you can just use the coordinates. Pretty simple. So basically what this is doing is it's cloning this chest right there. And this chest inside it has a kick AFK named item. Make sure you name it whatever you're going to name it. But mine's named kicked AFK. So yeah. And then what you're going to want to do is chain conditional always active zero ticks. And this one was chain conditional always active zero ticks as well. But you're going to do that. And then you're going to do set block, tilde, tilde, one, tilde, air, zero, destroy. Basically what it's doing is whenever you place that there and break it, it's going to get rid of it. Or not get rid of it, but destroy it and drop the item. That's what I was trying to say. Wow. Get me my words, please. <laughs> and then what you're going to want to do is chain, unconditional, always active, zero ticks. And it's going to be TP at E, type equals item, name equals AFK kick. Make sure you put that in there. And then it's going to be teleported at all players. Scores equals shift bracket. Time AFK equals whatever numbers you have set. Dot, dot, dot. And then the 100 numbers after whatever you have it. And then shift bracket. You should know how to do that. And then the next one is kill at E type equals item name equals, ch equals chest. And it's chain unconditional always active for the kill. And then chain unconditional always active for the TP. Really simple. Okay, so basically the next one is repeat unconditional always active zero tick, and it's going to be execute at E type equals item name equals AFK kick. So the name that you put in the chest, that that one. And then tilde, 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 scoreboards, scoreboard players set at P radius equals three time AFK. So basically, it's TPing the item to the person who's going to be kicked. It's setting them to zero so that it doesn't get kicked next time. Yeah, and then you're going to want to do the shift bracket. Or no, that, that's the wrong one. And then once you do that, it's going to be chain conditional always active zero. And then it's going to be execute at E type equals item name equals kick AFK. Tilde, 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 kick at P scores equals shift bracket time AFK equals zero. So it sets them to zero and then it kicks the person who's the closest to the item zero of score of zero. Yeah. So you're going to put time AFK, which is the scoreboard of zero and then within the radius of three, just so it's a small radius. And then you could put whatever message you want at the end. So whenever they get kicked, that's what's going to show. And then the last one is kill at E type equals item name equals kick AFK. Chain unconditional always active zero ticks, and the kicking one is chain conditional always active zero ticks. Okay, guys, this was a mouthful of a video. There was a lot to go over in this video. There was a lot. Yeah. And I literally just filmed this video, and my audio wasn't recorded, so I had to redo it. So this is a faster time than last time. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like. And if you really loved it, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. And guys, I want to thank you guys for all the support I've been getting. I'm almost at 2,000 subs. I have 18,000 or 1,800 right now. Uh, 1,800. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I never thought I'd get here. So thank you guys so much. I have a banger planned, or as me like to say it, I have a banger planned <laughs> for um, my 2,000 sub special. You guys are going to love it, I promise. And yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And this has been Bram, and I'm out. Sometimes I think that I'm unstoppable. Yeah. Ready to go, man. Lock and load. That's right. I swear to God that I could drop you, bro. Yeah. I got a shot at night.